All right, you men are both champions. You receive my instructions in the dress room. Obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times, men. Touch gloves now, you're boxing the bell. God bless you both. Michael Griffin with the final instructions as we take a look at the tail of the tape. A furious advantage as well, but better be Ev. The lineal light heavyweight champion putting that title on the line here in our main event. Corey Erdman and Steve Molitor on the call for you here tonight. Artur better be Ev in the black trunks. Marcus Brown, the southpaw in the red, white, and blue. Because we have seen better BF not give away rounds in the early going, but have a less than extraordinary punch output as he's just applying physical and mental pressure in the early going. Exactly, Corey. He may lose the round on the scorecard, but he's winning it in the fight. He's breaking too many changes, Corey. I think a few fun touches wouldn't help, wouldn't hurt, but I don't think he will make too many changes, so hopefully that's a great back. And those are the three times that Jean Pascal caught him, and it's the same shot he's been caught with in previous fights as well. How you would like this fight to look. Absolutely, Marcus Brown is boxing brutally from the outside, but it's still very, very early. You know better BF doesn't get off to crazy fast starts in the store like he's just clearly done their homework, as you would assume for a unification world title fight. This round two begins of our main event here. Shot then a right. Nice jab from Marcus Brown. Not a lot of jabs from Better BF so far. Perhaps just been nullified here, as is often the case with Orthodox fighters against Southpaws. Of course, it's not impossible to have a job. Beautiful <laughs> drop by Marcus Brown to get out of that corner. Ducks under a right hand of Better BF, comes back with a left hand of his own. The quieter this fight is, the better it is for Marcus Brown. Final 10 seconds of round two. Not a lot happening, but Marcus Brown, the busier fighter, certainly landed more shots here in the second round, and you'd have to think that's two rounds in the bank for the challenge. Fox. Round three underway, and this isn't unusual territory for Art to slip a little bit, like he might be on the back nine of his career. And it's those people who think that Marcus Brown has a very real shot in this fight, and Brown is proving those people right in the early going. Jojo Diaz, Rashi Warren. Jose Ramirez, Errol Spence Jr., his stablemate, Larissa Shields, and his other stablemate, Jamel Herring. Ramirez, Spence, and Shields have won unified titles. Every single fighter from that team, except for Queen Underwood, has at least fought for a world title as a professional, now that Marcus Brown has stepped in the ring here tonight. Just a terrific team was that 2012 squad. That's a stacked Olympic boxing team. Good shot there from Better Bia. That's where ben Brown has to be careful. Sequences where he's found himself in trouble in the past. He does want to be leaning against some ropes against a guy like Better Bia. Better Bia now starting to open up. Beautiful right hand down there. But Brown throwing some heavy shots too and crying in the back fire there. Brown earning his. Um, we'll see if Better BF listens to his cornerman. Uh, and more specifically, Scully just said, hey, remember how you didn't want to hit guys to the body, your sparring partners? Because they're, they're going home. They're going home. Send this guy home. <laughs> Brown up the middle there. To your point, Steve. Brown finding himself. Oh, that is a nasty gash right in the middle of the forehead of Better BF, and he is leaking all over the place. We got unintentional clash of heads. Brown Both men are cut. sporting a it's cut. Unintentional clash of heads. Over his right eye as well. But let me tell you something, you get a head cut there, Corey. The head bleeds so yeah, much you, you more. It's just, look at it just squirt out of better BF's head. Um, but Brown, the cut.
see if we can catch this clash of heads. Right, the punches, there was punch he was slipping over don't to punch, the left. Let him go, let him go. Well, we are back to action. Me, listen, Both corners are going to have their work cut out from an in-between round story. Russ Amber not in the corner of Arthur Better BF here tonight, unfortunately, tested positive for COVID. We send our best wishes to Russ. To Russ. As things getting a little messy here on the inside. If he has any any dream to win in this fight, he cannot let Arthur Better BF bully him around and box bang him around. Brown looked like he might have been stuck on the ropes trying to spin out. Better be as corner telling him. Better be uh, just wearing a crimson mask right now in the final minute of round four. And Marcus Brown doesn't look all that much better. Hard body shot from Better BF as he goes back downstairs with the left hand. You can just this kind of fight. We mentioned that the first two rounds look the way you want them to. They want you to continue like that. Good job, but please go to the body. Go to the body for kill. You stopped a little bit this round. That was better. I want to the same pressure. Water. Okay, the same Get another look same at that defense. clash of heads, and that is a... There it was right there. Three. That gash on the forehead of better be of... He's cut. I want you to just look at the cut and tell me he's okay to continue. Okay, that's good. Thanks very much, Mark. Go right there. Over in the other corner. You can't touch it. Wait in that corner. Wait in that corner. Oh, wow, you heard it. There's the possibility that Better Biev is only being given one more round. But of course, it's a clash of heads. Bring blood. Feet. Feet as the bell ends at the end of the round, they run out with the towel and 
cover up his face. Make sure that this fight can continue. Round seven begins here at our main event. The lineal light heavyweight championship on the line. The champion. Are We've seen that power jab from Better Biev a couple times over the last two rounds as well. Better Biev was very hesitant to let that jab go in the opening two rounds, but he has found it over the last six minutes. I feel that now that uh, Marcus Brown has slowed down a little bit, I feel that he has a little more confidence to throw that power jab and really push Marcus Brown in the corner. So he can load like he's doing here. When he feels that he has you hurt. Good oh, shot to the body. beautiful left hook to the body. And a right hand right behind it, and Marcus Brown will take a knee. Still lots Seven. of time left in this round, Eight. Corey. He's a very, very smart fighter, just like he did right there, and scoops that right hook. Right. Or that right. specialty no shot. No Still trying to recover. Better Biev, you see. Round just stationary. Better Biev's able to turn him. He's able to get different angles. Ten seconds remaining here in round seven. Even with the blood flowing, you got to give so much credit to the champion out of Better Biev. He's creating these angles. He's using Marcus Brown's body to push him and sidestep him. Because you mix again, take and I've told you how Danny stopped doing here, this. Steve. You need to continue like that, okay? You see how um, I mentioned earlier, how he takes it with that left the hook, body, knows. followed by the straight okay. right. Absolutely, and he's been doing it for a couple rounds, mixing up body and head. That was a beautiful left hook to the body, which brought the hand down right. to Marcus no Brown. Punches. To stand there and trade with better BS and the side of the ring either. The best thing for him, like he did earlier, when he was moving, boxing, jabbing, Standing in front of a guy like Arthur Better Dia is not a good idea, and it's showing here tonight. But at this point, though, it may not be about what Marcus Brown. Oh, but I think that this is possibly what he has left. He's had eight, a lot of big shots, and like I said earlier, Corey, just the constant pressure and the threat of Better Dia is enough to drain him. As a big light heavyweight, but he is a lot to deal with physically. Absolutely. I mean, again, 16 uh, 16 0 with 16 knockouts. You know it. Good shot there for Marcus Brown. Come on, let up you! Left hand down the seconds. middle. From the challenge. Another good right hand from Better BF. This has so much more power and so much more strength behind his punches than Marcus Brown does. Said, you do have to hand it to Marcus Brown, who spent a lot more time in the center of the ring and trying to move. Here, you know that, that photo that goes viral every once in a while of that fight from the... Tony Weeks? Well, that yeah. one, but the one from Vancouver from the early 1900s of the, the box was covered in blood. And yeah, the oh yeah, hold it's on. starting to look like that one. Round nine begins. And again, to Marcus Brown's credit, he's hurt, but he's trying to make adjustments. But now he might really be hurt with better BF all over him. Oh, and yeah. down he goes after a hard left uppercut. Four, five, six, How much more can seven, Marcus Brown take? Eight, nine, ten. Well, I'd like to, to see the replay. I don't know if it was a, was a left hook uppercut to the body. 17 and 0, 17 knockouts. contest by knockout at 46 seconds of round number nine 17 for 17 and still WBC and IBF light heavyweight champion of the world Arthur 